Hi, in uh, today's video I'm going to show you one of the other ways that I use Power BI and it's not really something that everybody does but I found it very useful because it makes things a lot more easier for me when uh, I need to do a quick visualization for something that isn't really a visualization to begin with. Now when we talk about Power BI usually uh, the kind of thing that you would expect to see uh, as a report in Power BI would be something like this where you'd have like a chart and you'll have some kind of visualization inside of it explaining uh, you know some kind of selection and uh, the filtering based on that and uh, that's kind of like standard everybody does it it's not that big a deal but what I wanted to do today was I wanted to create a banner for my LinkedIn profile and uh, it's not really something that you would use Power BI for but in my case I needed something that I was comfortable with because I'm not really familiar with uh, all these uh, tools that you have like Photoshop etc and uh, I didn't want to sit down and have to learn it but I had a fairly good idea about what I wanted and I figured that if I can just take a few minutes to sit and figure it out I'm pretty sure I could do that inside of Power BI so let me show you what the banner looks like on the uh, on the LinkedIn page right now and then I will go ahead and show you how how I went about creating it so you'll see that this is the banner that I have here fairly straightforward there's a background and then there is uh, a word cloud and again I've done videos before on word cloud so you can definitely go check it out but in this particular instance the thing that I've basically done is I went ahead opened up a Power BI uh, desktop app opened a page went to the back of the page and set the page background I'm sorry the wallpaper for the page to this image that I'm using here it's called blue banner I downloaded it from uh, uh, a website that offers free uh, JPEG images for background so that's how I got the background image over here obviously you can do things like set the transparency etc based on what you're trying to do so this is the kind of stuff that you typically see even in tools like Photoshop etc where you can adjust some of the attributes now the next thing I wanted was, you can see this big white space here and I wanted to utilize that to kind of just portray information about the kind of services that we offer and the things that we work on. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and opened up an Excel sheet and inside of that Excel sheet I went ahead and plugged in information about the words that I want to highlight. So this would be the words that I would associate with search engine optimization as being keywords. The words that I want people to use when they uh, search for my company or the services that, the, that we're offering. So a simple Excel sheet, nothing really fancy. I'm just going to open it up uh, quickly over here so you can have a look. Just give me a second. So uh, this word cloud basically just contains a list of words and a count. The count basically is meant to identify how much priority needs to be given to that word. So the higher the number, the larger the word appears on uh, on the image. And that's kind of uh, what we uh, we did here with this Excel sheet, as you can see. So I've got words like high availability, consulting, performance, Power BI, SQL Server, the stuff that we work on. And I've given all of them relative priorities. Obviously, when I do this, I first use the random number to kind of just give a random look and feel. And then words that I felt were more important, I gave them separate uh, priorities or rankings based on what I thought they need to be highlighted on. So once I have this Excel sheet, the next thing is fairly straightforward. We all do it in Power BI. I went into Excel and I went to get data, chose Excel, chose the keywords. And uh, once I do that, I needed to go ahead and import the visualization for uh, a word cloud. A visualization for word cloud is not available by default in Power BI desktop. So you'll need to go ahead and download it from the marketplace. And that's again fairly straightforward. I'm going to show it to you real quick over here. So I click on these three dots here, the ellipse button. And uh, when that happens, I get an option to download from the marketplace. So you can see import from marketplace. I click on that and uh, I get the option for uh, word cloud. And that's basically this icon over here that you you see here. So you just go ahead, type in word cloud. You can just type in word. And the very first one is kind of the uh, the visualization that I was talking about. Once imported, you drag and drop it on, on the screen, and from the field list, you'll select the fields that you want. So that's word and count over here for me, and that 
is kind of all that you need to do really so I'll just quickly show you what goes under category values go under uh, count go under values and again you can customize some of the stuff here so you can see you can change the color of certain things if you feel that maybe it clashes with the background or something like that and again I've removed the title and I've made it transparent because the background is typically uh, like this it's white and it's completely uh, it it doesn't really look good it doesn't gel well with the background so I just went ahead and made the transparency transparency 100 percent so that uh, I can still see the background and it gives a more cleaner look to the um, to the end product and that's pretty much it really so once this is done I have my banner and I take uh, a clipping tool I just kinda like screenshot this and dump it into paint and then you know just trim the edges a bit make it uh, a little bit more presentable in terms of the uh, the ratios that LinkedIn expects for banners etc and that's pretty much it so as you can see Power BI is a great visualization tool but it doesn't necessarily always have to be used for visualization there are other things that you can do with it that make things a lot more simpler and easier to do so uh, that's only uh, one of the ways that you would typically end up using Power BI again uh, we have done a couple of different uh, uh, examples of word clouds before as well so you can definitely go ahead and look at that as well so uh, one of the stuff that we did was uh, the pre presidential debates that happened in the US we did a word cloud on that uh, quite some time back and um, again the power of the tool is uh, extremely um, fascinating when you actually do the text analytics on top of it when you do things like sentiment analy analysis etc and uh, definitely one of the ways to view unstructured data uh, or one of my favorite ways to view unstructured data so that's pretty much it as you can see uh, word clouds again pretty useful for a number of reasons and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching